Dear students, in the last section, we have learnt how to compute some measures or some indexes which can capture age, sex inaccuracy in the data. There are several distortions which happens in the age, sex data captured through surveys or through census or even through registration. So, we have studied some measures like the rectangularization method, the Whipple's index, the Mayer's index and in this session we are going to learn what is known as UN age sex accuracy index. So, the aim of this session is to understand the details regarding United Nations age sex accuracy index with its assumptions, applications and important limitations. Let us examine what is the United Nations Age Accuracy Index is all about. The UN Age Sex Accuracy Index also known as UN Joint Score UNJS was proposed by United Nations in 1952 to measure the biasness related to age displacement in the census and the survey data. Many times it has been noticed that people shift their age to the next age group or to the previous age group in some instances for some own reason. So, to deal with such situations, UN has developed a composite index based on differences in the errors in the age misreporting between male and female and overall age displacement in 5 year age groups. The UN method of accuracy is mostly preferred in comparison to Whipple's index or Mayer's index because it incorporates both the differential omissions for persons in various age groups and the misreporting of biasness in the age reporting. So, both are captured in this case age misreporting as well as age group misplacement. Let us first examine the major assumptions behind this proposed method. The real or accurate age data are rectangularly or uniformly distributed is the first major assumption behind this method. This assumption has been, this assumption was also there for the other two methods which we have learned on Whipple's and Mayer's index because all these methods compare from an ideal or uniformly distributed age distribution which is the rectangularly or uniformly distributed. The second major assumption is the age specific sex ratio decline uniformly over the lifespan. So, the United Nations joint score works when both these assumptions work well together and violations of either of these assumptions leads to inaccurate data pattern. There can be several reasons from the departure of the assumptions inherent in the nature of the age and sex distributions. Let us now come back to the method of estimation of the UN age accuracy, age sex accuracy index. This method involves the use of very simple calculations like age ratios and sex ratios segregated by 5 year age group. The age ratios and sex ratios are computed for every 5 year age group till age 70. One can have a rough idea of age displacement or omissions 
of the population just by noting the age ratios estimated for each age group. The method of estimation, it is further a successive difference in the age ratios of previous and next age groups are obtained and are summed across the ages irrespective of the sign of the differences to obtain respective age ratio score for both males and females. Similarly, the sex ratio we replicate the same procedure to get average sex ratio score of the population. Further, to estimate the UN age sex accuracy index for the concerned population or a sample age score of male and female, we add the data obtained for male and female and finally a weighted sum of the sex ratio score is computed. Further, to estimate UN age sex accuracy index for the concerned population or sample, the age score of the male and female are added to the weighted sum of the sex ratio score. Let us look at step by step the calculation of this method. The first one is to calculate the age ratios, the age ratio score for females. Later we will calculate the age ratio score for males. In the first step, F A R S meaning female age ratio score will be computed by 1 by n minus 2 into summation of 200 into F I 5 divided by F I minus 5 plus F I plus 5 minus 100. In this formula, the F I 5 is the female population in the age group I. So, F I for a 5 year age group divided by F5 for the previous 5 year age group for the denominator and F5 for the succeeding 5 year age group in the denominator has to be added. That will give you what is known as FARS female age ratio score. The sum is taken over all the age groups irrespective of the sign of the difference obtained in the corresponding n minus 2 age group. The similar way we also calculate the age ratio score for the male which is MARS male age ratio score. The formula is exactly same except F will be replaced by M. 1 minus n by 2 into the sum of 200 into m i 5 divided by m i minus 5 5 plus m i plus 5 5 minus 100, where m i 5 is the male population in the age group 5 and m i minus 5 5 will be the population in the preceding age group and m i plus 5 5 will be the population in the succeeding age group. Once we get the male age ratio score and the female age ratio score, the next step is to compute the sex ratio score. The sex ratio score is computed SRS, the sex ratio score is 1 by n into the sum of m i 5 divided by f i 5 minus m i minus 5 5 divided by f i minus 5 into 100. In this case m i 5 is the population of male in a particular age group and f i 5 
is the population of females of that particular age group minus mi minus 5 is the population of males in the previous age group and fi minus 5 is the population of females in the previous age group. Thus, we get a series of sex ratio scores and finally, all the female age ratio score, male age ratio score and the sex ratio score are added and the final joint score, even joint score will be FARS plus MARS plus 3 into SRS that is sex ratio score. We have already seen the step by step estimation procedure. In the step 1 we calculated age ratio of the male population. The second step we calculated the sex ratio of the male population and the third step we calculated absolute difference of age ratios from 100 for both male sexes and females. Let me once again explain the steps through which we calculated the UN age sex index. The step 1 calculate age ratios for males population. The formula has been given earlier. In step 2, we will calculate age ratio for the female population. And in step 3, we have to calculate absolute difference of age ratios from 100 for both sexes, male and female. The step 4 calculates sex ratio for each 5 year age group. In step 5, calculate absolute difference between successive age ratios, successive sex ratios of each age group. And finally, in step 6, calculate average of the absolute difference of the age ratios of both the sexes and the absolute difference of the sex ratio. The examples given provide you a detailed understanding of how to compute a UN joint score. The example is using 2011 census. Each of the age group is taken, five year age group is considered and the population of that respective age group is also provided and the age ratio for the male is computed. The absolute differences in the age ratio is also computed 100 minus the age ratio which is computed without considering the sign. Similarly, for the females, the same is computed. Later, the sex ratio score is also computed and Finally, a MARS, male age ratios and female age ratios and sex ratios are given at the end of the row. So, the final United Nations age sex accuracy index will be for the 2011 census in India will be FARS which is given in the table as 6.38, 7.42 and MARS which is given in the table as 6.38 plus 3 into 6 SRS, the sex ratios which is 3.36. So, 23.89 20, will be the joint United Nations joint score to understand age sex accuracy in India based on the 2011 census. How do you interpret this score? The score, if it is less than 20, it is expected to be very accurate. If the score is 20 to 40, 
the shows it shows that the data is slightly inaccurate if the score is greater than 40 it means that the data is highly inaccurate a score of 23.89 in india for 2011 census indicate that the score is inaccurate although it is closer to 20. definitely it is not accurate less than 20 but it is inaccurate in the sense of mild inaccuracy let's also now look at what are the major advantages of this method the un age sex accuracy index is very important and very useful measure for understanding and comparing the accuracy in the age sex data in census and surveys at two time points or between two different territories. But it has also its own limitations. One of the major limitations of this method is that the index has very serious limitations with its assumptions on the rectangularity of age distribution and we often found that this assumption is not fulfilled for many population age groups and there is it also failed to incorporate the decline in the sex ratio with the rising ages and second it doesn't take cognizance to the short-term fluctuations of birth and death in the population so such kind of fluctuations can also lead to a differentials in the number of people in subsequent and previous age groups which is not taken into consideration by this method the age ratio suffers from an upward bias in the estimation thus this index also has a limitations of upward bias it lacks in justification of the weight given to sex ratio score and finally the UNJS estimates the net age misreporting in any population but it doesn't net under enumeration by age thank you